today, if you take a look at the comment section of just about any popular video on YouTube, you'll see a slew of top comments from verified accounts. You may have taken a look at one of these accounts, and while some of them might be actual creators, a large majority of the time, they are something different. Channels with over 100,000 subscribers with very little to no content on them. Sometimes they showcase a video on their channel, but other times there's no content at all. Simply a blank page with a subscriber count of over 100,000. Seeing these channels brings up many questions. Are they related to the comment bots that have plagued YouTube? How do they manage to get 100,000 subscribers with no actual content on their channel? And most importantly, what was the point of their existence? Today, we are doing a deep dive into these channels to find out exactly what their purpose is and how they came to be. And I figured out that the truth behind these channels is much, much more interesting than I originally thought. To understand how these commenting channels work, I think it is important to first be aware of comment bots on YouTube. And if you've spent just about any amount of time on the internet, you're probably familiar with these comment bots. They have essentially been around from the start of YouTube and have grown alongside the platform. The early days of YouTube saw surprisingly fewer bots than nowadays, as there simply was not much incentive. There were fewer viewers overall, and at that point, monetization was not enabled. However, as these incentives grew, so did the bots. The most prevalent version of these bots link to external websites, which are often dating websites and cryptocurrency scams. However, these were quite easy to take care of for YouTube's algorithm, for if a strange link was detected in a comment, it would be easily deleted and hidden. So, many of these bots took a new approach. They would use an enticing profile picture and leave a comment on videos to try and get people to click on their channel. They would then have the link stored somewhere on their channel page. These kind of bots can be found pretty much anywhere on the internet, but there are other bots that are exclusive to YouTube. These are a little different, as they don't usually link to external websites, and their aim is to remain on YouTube site itself. The wannabe friends bot is one great example of this. In mid-2020, a simple comment that just said, wannabe friends, was littered among almost every YouTube video on the platform. Sometimes the comment would even appear before the video was live, and the one that seemed to be the most prevalent was named Logan. The strategy behind these bots was to have many different accounts with the same name and profile picture commenting all over YouTube. Then, if you were to click on that channel, you would be led to an almost blank page that showcased a video from the main channel. This would allow the bot's hosts to route lots of views back to the main channel, without risking that channel being banned for common spam, instead letting the copies do the hard work. The bots were simply used as a covert marketing strategy to try and get more views to the main channel. This was also the case with the music bot that appeared across YouTube in the same manner, often showcasing some type of music they were most likely paid to promote. These examples would be the start of a new kind of bot on YouTube that I'm calling the promo bot, something that would eventually come to blur the lines between comment bots and real comments. The early versions of these promo bots were mostly using the same style as the Logan and music accounts did, creating a bunch of accounts with the same name and profile picture, hiding the subscriber count on that channel and then commenting something to entice viewers to click on their channel. Their channel would then be promoting a video from a different channel, most of the time a video they were being paid to promote, essentially like an advertising octopus, where each tentacle led back to the same channel. However, YouTube became aware of this quickly and found ways to deal with these bots. For example, today you may still get a notification about a similar kind of comment, but by the time you actually try to view it, the comment has already been deleted. These days, there are even external programs that can remove most types of this spam from your own YouTube videos, such as the software Theojo developed, and they work surprisingly well. So, 
how do the people behind these bots respond? Well, recently, we have seen the rise of a new type of spam comment that is different. I'm putting spam in quotation marks here due to the fact that not all of it is truly spam. This is where things start to get a little confusing, so bear with me. Within the past year and a half, there has been a large rise in comments from verified YouTube channels that have no actual videos on their channel. What makes it weirder is that they usually have just around 100,000 subscribers. If you take a look at almost any big video on YouTube now, you can pretty easily find these channels. And surprisingly, they comment something that is usually related to the video and makes sense, unlike previous comment bots. Taking a look at their channels, some have very few to no videos at all, while others feature different channels' videos on their page, often something that they are being paid to promote. You see, as soon as you pass 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, you can then apply to be verified and get the check mark. This is something that no one really gets denied for. There is very little verification, and you do not need to be monetized. In addition to this, Comments by these accounts stand out in the comments section due to having the check mark, which makes them much, much more likely to be upvoted by other viewers, which of course gets more eyes on those comments, which in turn makes for more conversions to their channel. The confusing part that remained for me is how they've commented on thousands of videos every day and how they gained 100,000 subscribers with essentially no videos. I'd like to take a second out of this video to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. If you are a frequent viewer of this channel, you are probably aware of the deep rabbit holes I go down when researching videos, sometimes taking me to the dark corners of the internet. One of the most important things to me while I research these topics is making sure that my information remains safe online. That's where NordVPN comes in. I have been using Nord since long before I even had this channel as it keeps myself and my information safe online. With over 5,000 servers in 60 countries, as well as having the fastest speeds of any VPN out there, it really is the best option for anyone looking to keep their information safe and view content not available in their own country. Nord also uses completely diskless servers, meaning they store none of your data from using the app. If you guys want to keep your information safe and support the channel, you can head over to nordvpn.com slash chillfuel for a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee deal, as Nord is just that confident in their product. Once again, that's nordvpn.com slash chillfuel. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making this content possible. The confusing part that remained for me is how they've commented on thousands of videos every day, and how they gained 100,000 subscribers with essentially no videos. During my research for this video, I came across a channel named B. They only have one video on their channel with the title, Found Me From A Comment. In the video, the narrator explains how they purchased the channel from a creator with about 100,000 subscribers who is no longer using it. Something that according to him is surprisingly not against YouTube's terms of service. After that, they unlisted all of the old videos and began commenting all over YouTube, with the help of some other friends. He added them to the channel as moderators. They were then also able to comment as the main channel. Some of them even commented in multiple different languages to reach a wider audience and gain more views on the channel. This particular channel even went as far as to create an entire playlist of videos from the previous channel's owner to show that their subscribers were in fact not botted. Checking out the playlist for yourself, you can see old videos even having millions of views on there. And this is not the only way that these channels gain their subscriber counts. There are many more methods. I reached out to the owner of this channel through a Discord server he linked to try and find some more answers. He explained to me how he ran many channels all with over 100,000 subscribers that commented all over YouTube. One of them even has nearly 400,000 subscribers named Dark. I was very curious to how this whole community worked, specifically how they gained their initial 100,000 subscribers 
and how they made money off these channels. What I found out was shocking to say the least. Dark and another friend of his named Bribe answered many questions about these channels to me. They explained to me that most of their channels with over 100,000 subscribers had achieved this milestone through a method called short spamming. The technique usually works by downloading a very large number of popular videos from TikTok and then re-uploading them to YouTube under a new channel. The idea goes that since many of these videos were popular on TikTok, if you post enough, you are bound to get some of them that attract many views, getting you subscribers. Then, as soon as you cross that 100,000 subscriber threshold, you apply for verification and get the check mark, and then simply delete the old shorts previously uploaded. Now I know this kind of sounds like a fake story to say the least, so I asked for some proof. They actually linked me to a website called playboard.co that allows you to see the statistics of deleted videos on channels. Sure enough, when testing this out on one of these commenting channels, there are many now deleted shorts that had hundreds of thousands and even millions of views. As for the reason Dark bought the new channel, because growing the other ones through this short spam made it very difficult to get monetized on YouTube, and therefore actually make money from the videos. The channel he bought was already monetized, allowing the user to funnel views from all of the commenting channels to one that can actually make money off of it, which even goes to prove his short spam technique even more. In addition, having a channel that is made up of mostly botted subscribers is not really viable on YouTube long term. YouTube very often wipes botted accounts off the platform, and when this is done in large amounts, you can even see popular creators losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers in an instant. Using bots would also make it quite difficult to actually get the verified badge needed for their commenting purposes. As for the way that these commenting channels make money, it is mostly done through promoting others' videos. YouTube allows for channel customization, in which you can feature a different creator's video on your channel. Most of the time, people will pay these commenting channels to feature one of their videos on the channel. Dark has been able to do this differently by obtaining his new monetized channel himself. Other times, these commenting channels might try to pivot into creating their own content. I do think it is important to note though that Dark and Bribe, the two people I spoke to, seem to be on the lighter side of this whole commenting community, giving clear reasons and proof behind their channel's existence, and even giving an inside look into the community. So, there is definitely more to be uncovered when it comes to the vast majority of these commenting channels, as there are countless rabbit holes this side of YouTube, and who knows where they lead. While going down this rabbit hole of this whole sub-community, I saw many claims of people scamming fans and other creators. Others were promoting obscure cryptocurrencies and NFTs through their channels, which definitely rubbed me the wrong way. Of course, these are just a few examples of these channels, and I am only one person doing this research. There are thousands of these commenting channels out there, so the chances of channels like these being used for a more devious purpose is fairly high. This video has been quite a long time in the making, but there is definitely more to be explored on this subject. This part of YouTube has held my interest for quite some time, and I was glad to finally have some understanding about these channels' existence and purpose. It seems as if YouTube has become such a large platform that people are always looking for ways to gain the system. And I think that that is the most interesting part of all of this how these individuals are always coming up with new ways to do it, an evolving platform complete with evolving people. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you guys considering subscribing to the channel or leaving a like as it really helps me out. If you want to get connected to the community, you can follow me on Twitter or join the community Discord. Thanks again and have a good night.